and welcome to another episode of Trevor Tries, the best series on the internet where I try stuff and usually I complete it. With Father's Day right around the corner, I figured I'd try to make my dad a cake. To judge my cake baking, we have food expert and the host of Billy Eats, Billy! It's great to be here, Trevor. I gotta admit, I'm kinda surprised that I was invited. I thought you hated me. Oh, I do. Okay, well, that hurts my feelings a bit, but I'm really excited for the cake. Oh, I'm sure you are, Tubby. Hey! We literally weigh the exact same amount. <laughs> yeah, but I'm all muscle. That's not true at all. All right, that's enough out of you. Let's bake a cake. Challenge one, ingredients. So, the first thing any good chef has to do is gather the ingredients. My cake is gonna require butter, flour, baking powder, salt, sugar, eggs, vanilla extract, and milk. Okay, but how much? How much of what? How much of each ingredient? Billy, come on, look at me, dude. Why on earth would I know that? Well, you have to use the specific amounts in the directions in order to make a good cake. Otherwise, it's gonna turn out weird. Directions? Ha! On Trevor Tries, we never use directions. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Let's gather the ingredients. First up is butter. Let's go grab some butter. We don't have any butter, but that's okay, because I'm going to resort to plan B. Hello? Nick, I need some butter. What the heck? Why on earth would I bring you butter? I'm baking a cake, and if you come over here with the butter, I'll let you try some. Oh, cake. I'll be right there. All you need is butter, correct? Yes! Now hurry up before I change my mind. Okay. All right. While he is doing that, let's search for the other ingredients. Flour is next, and we have plenty of those. Boom! Flour. Oh, uh, that's not what it means. Well, what else could they possibly mean by flour, dummy? All right, our next ingredient is baking soda. Huh. I don't know what that looks like, so I'm gonna ask Ned to bring some. Speaking of the devil, I think he's here now. Here's the butter for your cake. Thanks, but I also needed baking soda. But you only asked for butter. No, I said baking soda too. Didn't I, Billy? No, but I- You need to get your ears checked, Ned. Come back when you have both the things I asked for. Man, I guess I am hard of hearing or something. I don't know. Did you just gaslight Ned? Yeah, well, the kid deserves it, dude. He's kind of uptight sometimes. All right, so we have our butter. We have some flour. Ned's gonna grab the baking soda. Now we need sugar and salt. I don't know if we have that. Oh my gosh, every house has sugar and salt. Well, my house probably doesn't. My dad and I don't eat salt or sugar because our bodies are temples. Would you just look? Fine, Billy, but I'm telling you, we don't have any in this house. Oh, look at that. Sugar and salt, <laughs> boom, who would have thought? And there's Ned with the baking soda. About time you showed up. <sighs> I ran as fast as I could. Here's the baking soda. Next time, move faster. Come on, get inside. Hey, Ned. Hey, Billy. Are you here to try some cake too? Yeah, but I'm not too sure that this cake is gonna turn out good. Oh, well, aren't you just so funny, Billy? Listen to me. You two sit there and don't say a word. We need to look for our last two ingredients, which are vanilla extract and milk. Let's see if we have it here. <laughs> I can't find any. You're looking everywhere but the fridge. You have to have milk in the fridge. Actually, Billy, I have a better idea. Isn't vanilla ice cream just frozen vanilla and milk? It's actually quite a lot more than that, Trevor. No, no, no. Let the host speak, Ned. This is my show. Boom. Vanilla and milk in one. Ned, 
I think we're gonna die. I should have known a cake made by Trevor would be bad. All right, now that we have all the ingredients, it's time to bake a cake. Um, aren't you forgetting some ingredients? What ingredient could I possibly be missing, Billy? Look at the floating list. Oh, the eggs! I forgot about the eggs! Don't worry, I think I have some in my pockets. Boom, eggs, baby. Now we have all the ingredients. Why were there eggs in your pocket? Don't ask questions you don't want the answer to, Ned. Now let's bake a cake. Challenge two, make the cake. All right, now how do I do this? Maybe you should read the directions. They'll tell you step by step. I'm not gonna read the stupid directions, Ned. I am not a nerd like you. All right, maybe I just put all these ingredients in a pan. No, you need to mix them first. Oh, <laughs> I knew that. All right, let's see. Let's start by putting some salt in. Now let's try some baking soda. The butter. Now some sugar. You should probably use less sugar. I'll use what I want. This is my kitchen and it's gonna be my cake. Now let's drop the eggs in. And then the ice cream. And finally, the flour. All right, well, now that everything's in there, let's stir. This is too hard. Billy, can you do it for me? What? But you're the chef, not me. Does it really hurt your arms that much? No, I'm just sore from working out earlier. My biceps need a break. Woo! Man, being a chef is exhausting. Well, most chefs don't put ice cream in their cake mix, or a flour, or uncracked eggs. But I guess I'll stir it for you anyway. That's why I'm one of the best, Billy. Right. You better be quiet, Ned, or else I'll bully you at school. You already do bully me. Oh, well, I'll bully you more. Um, it's done mixing, I think. Good, now get out of my way. Well, a thank you would have been nice. All right, well, now that it's done mixing, it's time to put it in a pan. Perfect. Now, does anyone want to try the batter before I put it in the oven? No. Absolutely not. All right, whatever. Let's put it in the oven now. Uh-oh. What do I set the oven to? I don't know. If you read the directions, you'd be able to find that out. Hmm. Well, I don't want it to get too hot, and I don't want to wait too long. So let's set the oven to 50 degrees. 50 degrees? That's literally colder than it is outside. And we'll set the timer for five minutes. All right, let's put it in the oven. Now, we wait. Five minutes later. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the cake's done, guys. The cake is done. I can't believe that actually cooked and it didn't blow up the house. And look at this beauty. Huh, look at it. It looks amazing, doesn't it? It doesn't look good at all. Of course it doesn't, Billy, because I still have to decorate it. Yes, these are Christmas decorations. Don't judge me. I'm going to make it blue icing for Father's Day. And my masterpiece is complete. Oh my gosh. Challenge three, taste the cake. All right, fellas, it's time for you to try the cake. Uh, Billy, you go first. Why don't you go first, Ned? I insist. Look, one of you better eat the cake or else I'm gonna force it down your throats. Fine, fine, I guess I will. Be very careful, Billy. Oh my gosh, stop being so dramatic and just eat the cake. How is it? Trevor, he clearly doesn't like it. 
Yes, he does. He's just taking a while to chew because it's so good. He wants to savor it. Right, Billy? Swallow the cake, boy. Swallow it! You're gonna be fine! Well, I guess the cake wasn't very good, huh? Shut up, Ned. Go to the store and buy a cake. Aw, oh, man, but I don't have any money. Do it, or else I'll force you to eat the cake that I made. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. The final verdict. Well, everyone, you saw me do it. I made a cake. And yeah, sure, it sent someone to the hospital, but the title of the video isn't Trevor Tries Baking a Good Cake, it's Trevor Tries Baking a Cake. And I did, in fact, bake a cake, so I completed my challenge for the day. And there's Ned with the other cake. Hey, here's the cake you asked for. You owe me $45, by the way. Yeah, I'm not paying you back. Hey, Dad, check out this cake that I made all by myself. 